Hello guys and welcome to the Hackanon's YouTube channel. Loops in programming languages allow you to execute a block of code repeatedly based on input condition. There are multiple loops available in Python. But did you know you can exit a loop using break and continue statement. We can make use of the break and continue statement intelligently along with if and else condition to break out of a loop using few simple conditions and we will see how to do that in this video. I have jotted down and listed some important things that we will be using in this video. So first thing, let's revise some concepts of programming. So we've got this for loop that is used to iterate from a start point to end point for n number of times. Then we got a loop called as while loop which works up till certain condition is not fulfilled. And we also have a nested loop which means a loop inside another loop is called as a nested loop. Then we've got the break statement which when used will simply break out of the current loop. And we've got continue statement that exits only the current iteration and continues directly on the next iteration of a loop. If you need, you can take a screenshot of this screen. And now we will go to the coding portion and see how to code these examples. So I have created a simple Python list that's given the name variable data and stores certain set of numbers. And I'll simply use the for loop. So I will say for i in data, print that i and if I run this program you can see all the items inside this list is printed on an output window. Now we'll create a simple condition saying that if i is equal to 4 we shall break out of the for loop else we will print that value. So I will say print i. And now if I run the program, you can see only one is printed on the output window. Since we created a simple condition saying that at any iteration, if we find four inside our data, we have to break out of the loop. So that is why after printing the value one, the current probe iteration went to the number four and broke out of the loop. Let's say if I remove this number four, and put it to the end of the list and now if I run the program you can see we will get the numbers 1, 2, 8 and 5 but the number 4 will not be present. So this is how you can break out of a loop using the break statement. Now what I have done is I have saved this code on the right pro file of mine and now I will just make some changes and what I will say is if i is equal to 4 I shall use the continue statement. Else, I shall print i and let me change the data that I am working with and I'll put in 4 in the middle of the data and I shall do the same thing on the right file of mine. Control V. And now, let's run the left program and check the output. So, as you can see, what happens is when the program runs, it first prints the value 1, then it prints the value 2. But however, when it goes on the iteration 4, we use the continue statement. So that iteration is stopped for the moment and it directly goes to the next iteration. And then it checks, it is, is it 4? But 8 is not equal to 4. So that's why it goes in the else condition and prints that on the output window and also prints the value 5. But now, let's check the same output on our previous program. And as you can see, because we created the break statement, as soon as we reached in the condition checking that i is equal to 4, it simply broke out of that loop and the next numbers after 4 that is 8 and 5 did not get printed on our output window. So this is a simple comparison between how we can make use of continue and break statement to idealize and create customization inside our looping concept. So with this video, you will learn how to use the break and continue to control loop operations based on your requirements. 
I hope you got a better understanding of the Python concepts in this video. If you like this video, do drop a like, subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel and press the bell icon for further fun and amazing videos.